Hey guys, Mark here, Rain Wars for Christ. Welcome back. Folks, today is Wisdom Friday, Wisdom Friday. And folks, today I've got a very brief message for you guys, a message of encouragement on Wisdom Friday. Folks, when your breakthrough is about to happen, that's when the intensity of the attack by the enemy increases. And you know what, folks? That should be a sign to you. If you're feeling that there's been an intensity and they attacked by the enemy um, that's been coming against you, more so like, you know, I'll call it like, you know, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at you. And the only thing that he's trying to do is to try to get you to disconnect. Let your faith that you've been standing on, believing God, to disconnect from the Lord. Before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers. If you join the family, I say welcome. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. And if you just happen to have landed on this channel, this message speaks to you. Give it a like, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, join the family. Folks, let's go ahead and get in this message. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters who've been going through a long battle. It's been a long, a long battle, protracted battle. Maybe four months, six months, eight months that you've been waiting on a particular uh, thing from the Lord. You've been praying to the Lord about and you've been standing and believing God for it. Or, or maybe you're standing on you know, like a promise on the Lord. And let's just say, and folks, this, this that you're standing on is in line with the Word of God. It's in line with the Word of God. And you've been believing God for that breakthrough. But it hasn't come yet. It hasn't, it hasn't appeared yet. And now what you're feeling is an intense attack by the enemy. You know, the enemy's trying to come against you trying to um, uh, get you to open some kind of door. Maybe going back, you know, maybe there's an ex that, you know, that the, the Lord has cut from your life and now your phone's starting to ring. You know that person's not good for you. And the Lord has shut the door on that, but the enemy's trying to bring him back, bring her back. <laughs> if not that, maybe you've, you, you put smoking aside. But now the enemy's trying to get you to pick up that, that, that smoking habit back again. It's not that. <clears throat> Folks, maybe porn. <laughs> You've broken that habit. <clears throat> and now the enemy is trying to, um, you know, you, as you go on your phone, all kinds of, you know, uh, I'll call it the, you know, seductive type, type of visuals are, are, are popping up on your phone. <laughs> The enemy will do anything he can, folks. Anything he can. If it's not that, folks, maybe he'll start, start stirring up trouble. You know, getting into an argument with, with somebody at work, maybe at home, or, 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 or whatever the case may be, so that you can get into bitterness, resentment, strife, anger, be offended, be offended against somebody, want to get into unforgiveness. All these things, folks, are just things that he's trying to use as a snare so that he can then accuse you before the Lord if you fall for it and you fall, in, you fall into that sinful behavior, practice, or habit, or whatever the case may be. You are too close to your breakthrough, folks. Your breakthrough is around the corner and that should be a sign. When you see the enemy is just bringing heat down your neck, I mean, you know, telling you all kinds of stuff. Oh, you know, you know, that's not going to happen for you. You know, God does. If God really cared about you, you wouldn't be going through this thing. If He really loves you, you wouldn't be going through what you're going through right now. Do you really think that you're going to make that happen? That opportunity. You think that job that you're that you're looking for is going to really come? Do you think that that business that you want to to uh, to uh, to start up is going to actually happen? Negative garbage, folks. Negative garbage. Why? He wants you to get into unbelief, not believe God, disconnect your faith so that you don't receive that blessing. But he sees that blessing coming towards your way. And that's why the intensity of the attack has increased. So I'm going to end the message right here, folks. I encourage you, continue to stand in faith 
continue to believe and trust God. Our God. It is impossible for God to lie. If there is a promise that you're standing on, on the word of God, God is faithful to his word. In fact, the Bible says that God watches over his word to perform it. You can trust God. So this is my message for you guys today on Wisdom Friday. Continue to believe and trust and keep your hope in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ <clears throat> because he is faithful. God is faithful and you're about to break through. Don't allow the enemy to have you quit before you receive the promise. This message speaks to you. If you don't like a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Jesus loves us, folks. Loves us. Only wants the best for us. So just keep this in front of you and celebrate. The Lord told me, celebrate. Celebrate before it even shows up. Celebrate and give God glory. That's our reaction. Share, like, subscribe. Leave a comment. See you next video.